Do you have that favorite pair of jeans that you would like to dress up? On a day that you have, um, that you're feeling energetic, the lighting's good, you have the time, pull out your favorite jeans from your closet, lay them out, then look and see what shirts or sweaters or whatever you have that you would like to wear with those jeans um, to dress up a little bit. And then the next step is look and see, do I have a jacket or a, a sweater that I can add to this, whether even if it's just to throw over your shoulders later on, if it gets a little cooler or in the mornings to wear and then take off later or wear as part of your outfit all day. And, and look at your, you know, your shoes and your boots, you know, what do you have there that you could wear with it that would um, dress it up a little bit. Um, look at any scarves that you have, whether they be long or, or short square scarves, uh, whatever. Look and see what might work with those pieces that you have pulled out. If you have a fedora, you know, that can be, look really cute in the fall. I know I want to get a black one. Um, and then, you know, try the outfits on. This is where the time and the energy comes in handy um, because, you know, trying on these, all these different outfits <laughs> can get a little tiring. So try it on. If you like it, then take a picture of it. Cause when you look in the mirror, I think at least for me, when I do these videos, I like it better just looking in the mirror than when I actually see it on camera or, or you know, post it online. Um, and then when you get that outfit together, then, you know, you have your jeans out Then maybe, you know, see, okay, what else do I have? Do I have another, what other shirt, um, or top or t-shirt do I have? And then see what pieces you have to add that. And you might be surprised at how many new outfits you come up with. Um, and also doing this, I think you're going to find out like, like, for me, it'd be like, oh, you know what? I need a, a black blazer. I have a black tank, but I don't have a black blazer. You know, I used to have one, but, you know, I don't have one. Or this one needs, you know, replaced. Um, or for me, it's going to be I want to get a pair of straight leg jeans. So, you know, do you, do you want to get another style of jeans? Do you need, you know, a, a beige blazer? I mean, you're going to find that out, too, when you go through this process. Now this photo here, or here, um, I think this is supposed to be Jennifer Garner. Um, I can't tell if it's her or not because of, you know, the sunglasses and the hat, but I'm putting this up just so you can see how nice it looks by her adding that hat and then, well, and the hat and the sunglasses. But now she doesn't have jeans or anything on, but I'm really showing it to you just to show you, I mean, if you, if she wasn't wearing this hat, the difference that that outfit would make. This outfit I have here, or maybe here, is a Ralph Lauren outfit. And I don't think these are jeans. I think these are a, a dark blue dress pant. But I love this color combination, the dark blue with that shade of green. Oh, stunning. And she has a pair of pumps. So you could do, you know, a, a chunky heel um, with this. You could do a dark washed pair of jeans and then she did a matching green and, and matching in color green um, blouse and blazer and it looks amazing and you could pull off that same look like I said with your jeans or pull this you know this would be an easy look to pull off and you wouldn't have to spend a lot of money on it. You know, when you're out shopping and if you're putting a, an entire outfit together, um, you know, the fabric makes all the difference in the world and, you know, the higher quality pieces too from, you know, you can tell from, you know, maybe the buttons or things, how things match up. I know the Italians are really good at taking inexpensive pieces and expensive pieces and putting them together in an outfit and they look amazing when they do that. But if you go shopping in Italy, it the just feel the fabrics. Just look at the fabrics and how they drape. Um, it's no wonder the uh, Italians look so nice. But you know something to think about. You know if you don't want to buy all expensive pieces, I know I I don't. I can't afford to. Um, 
but you know, maybe you take one or two expensive pieces and mix it with an inexpensive piece. So most of the clothes um, I'm showing, most of these outfits are clothes that I've already had in my wardrobe. So most of it's not going to be available any longer. If there is, I know I have a sweater from uh, Amazon um, and so, or anything that I see or post up, if I can put a link in the description box, I will, I, I'll do that. And you know, the lighting, it's getting darker here, so the lighting is changing, so, you know, I'm not sure which is better. But anyway, this first look is a knit um, jacket with a matching um, sleeveless tank underneath. Um, I have it wearing it with black boots. The black boots, are, I purchased last winter in Italy at, at a store called Jokes. Um, they're all over Italy, super comfortable right out of the box. Um, a store I definitely recommend. I'm, I've never heard of it here in the US, but you know, maybe in some parts of the States we do have it here, I, I'm not sure. But, uh, and then I also have it with a pair of heels. So um, again, Okay, this look is, a, uh, I added a blazer and um, just a white button down shirt underneath of it. You could do boots, you could do heeled shoes, you could do flats. Um, again, you could do anything. You could do a black blazer with the black boots. You could do a black shirt, a black tank, black boots. Um, again, your options are really unlimited with this one as well. Look three is an off-white, um, just a pullover top, not really a t-shirt because it's a little more elevated than that, and then a knit um, kind of jacket. Um, and I think this look um, with the brown boots would be really cute with the brown uh, hat. That would be super cute. Um, and again, you could, you know, change up the, with the off-white. Um, you could change up the color of the boots again or do flats or you know, a heeled shoe that would look, look, would look nice too. You could do a longer, like a long um, chain necklace, a longer pendant necklace if you like um, with this outfit as well. This next look is the same white button down shirt, the Calvin Klein one that I wore underneath the uh, beige blazer. Um, and then I added a white t-shirt. It's an elevated t-shirt, still a thicker material, but it's a white t-shirt underneath. Um, I added a brown belt with a gold buckle and then a necklace, a gold necklace with white pearls in it. I thought the white pearls um, and the gold looked well with the shirt and t-shirt and the belt. And then I did brown shoes, but you could also do brown boots. You could you know, change up the color of the belt and the boots and the jewelry you could use. Uh, wear a long necklace, a long chain, or a long uh, pendant necklace with this as well. So again, with the white, you could, you know, do just about anything. This next look is with the dressy blouse. I bought it from uh, Macy's uh, a couple years ago, so it's not going to be available any uh, at this time. But the shoes, I just ordered from Amazon, so I've just been kind of wearing them around the house. Um, they're inexpensive, but I wanted a pointy shoe, uh, a pointy toe, and I wanted to try it with just an inexpensive shoe at first. And these were had really good, well, didn't have a lot of reviews, but the reviews were five stars. So, um, and for the price, um, and they're just simple shoes. So I'll put the link um, down below for those. And then I paired a structured handbag of mine. Um, the handbag is actually gray and not black. It's a really dark gray and I thought it worked well with the mauve shirt. 
So let's take a look. to do a scarf and jacket since we're talking about fall so I have on the, the jeans of course and of the, the black flats from uh, Amazon and then this is a scarf uh, a gift from my son many many years ago it's a very large scarf as you can see so I just kind of uh, you know folded it up rolled it up and and there's so many things that you can do with this size of a scarf you guys i wore it when uh, i was in italy last winter when because if it's the air is cold and it's windy i get migraines so i have to cover my head so i didn't have a fall hat um i should have bought one but i didn't but i use this so but when i did it instead of folding it in a square i folded it you know more like that so that i could put it over you know over my head and then kind of do this type of thing with it so um and it helped me from you know from getting some it broke the wind a little bit so because it doubled the the layer but anyway like i said there's just so many things you can do with these scarves and then the jacket is a black jacket and it's not available anymore either i bought it just before i moved to italy um it's a it's a a, a fall jacket um it's quoted, but it's from Dennis Basso from QVC. I love Dennis Basso coats. I, I have, probably most of my coats are Dennis Basso. I have a raincoat, um, a couple winter coats um, that I, I have purchased that are Dennis Basso. So um, let's take a look at this ball jacket and scarf. This is a sweater. Now, if you want to update your sweater a little bit, instead of a cardigan, do a pullover. This pullover is super comfortable, super soft, um, not bulky. Uh, it's from Amazon, so I'll link it below and it comes in many colors. I may actually go back and get another color because it's just so comfortable and, you know, it's not so warm. Um, so be, it, it's also a good layering piece. So, and then I showed you with um, a pair of the, the black Amazon flats and a, a heeled shoe. So, um, here you go. That's all I have. Everyone have a great week. Bye-bye.